Hey guys, it's Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and in this video I wanted to talk to you about Shopify themes, especially picking the right theme for your business. Welcome to Rock Paper Copy, best place for Shopify store owners to learn about SEO, getting traffic and sales. Today I will be focusing on Shopify stores with one product, they obviously want to have a lot of engaging content to keep people browsing on their website. So obviously they need a theme that will give them this possibility to show plenty of photos, plenty of galleries, videos, plenty of supporting pages to keep people browsing for longer. Because if you're selling only one product, it means that um, people might just go to your website and quickly leave, which will actually hurt your SEO and you will slowly be dropping in Google. Because when Google will notice that people spend only a few seconds on your website, that will indicate for Google that perhaps maybe your website isn't helpful or maybe your website isn't relevant to, to the search result and will rank you lower and lower so you have to keep people engaged you have to keep people entertained and you have to keep people clicking on your websites from page to page and you do it with the right team if you've got only one product so I'll be going to Shopify right now and going through the Shopify themes and tell you which ones are best to choose for this stars with one product. On Shopify themes, the best place to start is go under collections. Under collections, great for small inventory. So you will be able to view all the themes that are good for small inventories but have got loads of supporting content such as galleries, videos, testimonials, maps, so something there that really keeps people uh, browsing for longer. Also a great way to do it is to feature a video on your homepage and I've seen this example in so many different stores selling just one product, two minute, three minute video showing how to use the product. Especially if it's a if it's a brand new product, if you're if you're producing this product, if people are not familiar with it, you have to educate them so you can explain how this product works, how to use it, what kind of benefit it brings. So video is really really good for that. Also, the gallery sliding images are really powerful. The theme that I can recommend for small inventory that worked for a number of my clients is the narrative theme. And this is free theme. So in this video, I will be going only through the free themes. I won't be reviewing paid themes. Maybe next week I will be going through the paid themes. But uh, the narrative has got loads of galleries on the home page. It's built to tell a story. So this is perfect if, you, um, if you've got uh, loads of photos to show. Recently I used it on uh, for the client who is selling, uh, selling t-shirts, but they were selling only three t-shirts, but their message was to uh, to bring awareness to the mental to the mental illness. So they used additional images, additional galleries to tell about the problem, how many people face the mental illness, how many people suffer from mental illness, and obviously what kind of difference we can make by sharing the message, by, by buying the t-shirt. So this narrative theme is perfect for, for portraying this message. And this is the direction you need to go when you're selling one product. So you need to really portray the message and the branding you've got with your store because you cannot really rely just on a product when selling one item. You need to rely on the branding, you need to rely on the message, you need to rely on additional content. The time there that you really want to see people browsing at least three minutes, this is a good indication for Google that, that your website is useful. One more thing that I would love to remember about adding content is blogging. Blog regularly. Blogging is perfect for 
to, to keep people reading for longer, especially longer blog posts, at least 1,000, 2,000 words. You can add them uh, once a month, but make sure they are engaged and that people really want to read them, that they don't just read uh, the first paragraph and then they decide that the blog post is repetitive or doesn't really create a value. So make sure that the blog posts are valuable, bring benefits to, to your visitors, are within the niche as well. These are the elements of the website that, that you need to focus if you're selling only one product. So first of all, the videos, blog posts, galleries, testimonials, education, how to use the product, uh, sliding images, so plenty, plenty of images, and make sure to have aim for three minute, three minute session duration. So this is the dwell time measured in Google Analytics, and this is something that you need to do when you've got only one product stock. If you loved this video, smash the like button now and subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular SEO and e-commerce tips. Also hit the bell to be notified every time I upload new video. Now watch these videos next recommended for you here to learn more about SEO and running successful online business. Bye bye!